What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now it is Monday the 20th of September so it's time for the workshop vlog. This is number 12. Just a quick update video and check in with you guys to see how everybody's doing. So let's get on with it. There's a bloody fly in here and I can't catch the bugger. He's really annoying me now. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. I hope wherever you are in the world that you and your loved ones are fine. Um, I started these vlogs back when the shutdown first started, just as a way of checking in with you guys. I'm gonna keep going and keep doing one each month. The channel now has just blown past 15,000 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. So welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm glad you guys are really enjoying the content. That's fantastic. The channel is continuing to grow, which is absolutely great. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. It is uh, crazy times again, this virus is beginning to skyrocket, but the pubs opened today for the first time in six months in Ireland, so that's going to make a hell of a lot of people very happy indeed. They'll probably all be closed again next week, but um, yeah, we shall uh, endeavour to persevere, as they say, and hopefully it won't be a winter of discontent that's coming up. So yeah, hope you're all doing well, guys, and I hope you and your families and your loved ones, like I say, wherever you are in the world, are hanging in there, you're back in work, you're paying the bills and doing all that good stuff. Now the channel, like I said, has just blown past 15,000 subscribers over the weekend and I think it's already heading towards 16,000 which is absolutely fantastic. So it is really starting to grow and I think it's kind of a natural growth now as opposed to the crazy growth that when the shutdown first happened and everybody came onto YouTube. So you guys seem to be really enjoying the content so that's absolutely fantastic so I'm going to endeavour to keep these projects coming. Now the whiskey rack went down really well with everybody, a lot of guys seem to like it so the upcycling of furniture is something that I want to do more and more and more of. You know, getting into the whole environmental thing, you don't want to be using all the new wood all the time and if you can save and salvage some wood then I think that's a fantastic idea and it's a fantastic way to get your woodworking done. There's always good work in old for wood in old furniture if you can get your hands on some of it and you can really make it into anything you want. Now talking of whiskey it turns out that a hell of a lot of you guys love your whiskey so I've started a new whiskey channel. I link it up here if it's possible to link if not it will be in the description below. It's basically just me doing a given my opinion on some whiskies. I'm going to start trying some more and more whiskies, sharing the uh, experience with anybody who's into whiskey. So if you like your whiskey, you want to see a novice like me drink a lot of these whiskies or taste a lot of these whiskies for the first time, come on over. I'll get in the channel link. It's called the Whiskey Shed. I'll leave it in the comments or in the yeah, in the comment section below or in the box section below, you'll see the link to the channel there. If you like your whiskey, come on over. It'll be a bit of fun and a bit of crack. That's what it's gonna be all about. This will still remain my main focus on my main channel and I'll throw up a video every now and again on that channel once I get a new little whiskey to share with you guys. And I might even post a, uh, a little section up every month to let you know what whiskey is gonna be coming up next. So if you guys wanted to join in with me and we could all taste the whiskey together and see what we think, something like that we're gonna do anyway. So. New whiskey channel, link it below. If you like your whiskey, come on over. Now it's been a slow enough week in the workshop this week. I've been really busy in my uh, day job as an electrician. I've been sharing some of what I'm doing on Instagram on the story so I can record stuff with the camera phone. I can't really take a tripod and camera and all the gear in on site into a lot of places I work. It just wouldn't be acceptable. I think I've explained this to you guys a few times. So Instagram seems to be the best place. I can just get a little recording with my phone, show you what I'm at on site. Um, videos just like this, I'll give you a quick look at exactly what I'm leaving up on Instagram so you guys who are not on Instagram can see it now. Good morning guys, welcome to the job site. Now I'm out of the workshop. Some of you guys wanted me to show some of the work that I do out on site. So. We're in unit number three of four. It's a controlled environmental storage for pharmaceuticals. So we're up on the roofs of the rooms at the minute and we've installed a trunking and conduit system, backup generators and all that kind of stuff. So we have our main sub board is just down here. We have a six inch trunk and that runs up along, turns into a four inch trunk and that we can drop off at any point to any of the rooms. Then we have a four inch trunk which runs down the center. That does two rooms, so for our power and lighting either side. We have a 400 kVA supply came in here, that's separated into two 200 kVA supplies. And then we have a 120 kVA automatic changeover switch, we have two of them. And we will be eventually moving into unit number four. So down by the board, you can see there's our main sub board there. Our mains comes in from next door from a 200 amp uh, MCCB. There's the changeover switch there, like I say, we have two of those. There you can see our six inch header trunk which heads on down. All these rooms then we worm conduit and trunking like I was saying. 
we have our lights then coming off clicks down at the dome covers all these rooms have to remain completely sealed so we don't come our top and bottom with a PG gland going out to the lights and then we have to pack those holes with this polymer. Silicone is no good because some of these rooms run at about 40 degrees, 90% humidity, so it really tests the equipment. So everything has to be 100% sealed. All equipment has to be 100% sealed and IP65. But uh, it's a nice job, it's a nice system. This is our third unit now, like I say. So back in this way, there's two more units fully kitted out and we will be eventually moving into unit number four. So we've upgraded the supply to this job a number of times and we've put in two 120 kVA generators to keep everything on backup. The units themselves are from Black Mountain, North Carolina. So all the stuff comes from America. So the conditioners are all from America. Some of the lighting equipment comes from the States as well. So we've just matched it into our system here. So it's a nice job. Also installed the fire alarm system here as well. Now we don't commission the systems, we just install them. So I don't know if you can see the red pipe that runs up and across behind me up on the RSJ here. You can see it there behind me. So it's an aspirating fire alarm system. So it's great, there's no heads. You just run like a plastic conduit. And then this, depending on the size of the space, you drill a certain diameter hole, certain distance apart. And you have a single head over on the wall with a fan that pulls air. So it's constantly sampling the air in the room. So you don't need any heads. It's only a single point, And that constantly, like I say, samples all the air in the room back through that pipework. So it's nice and handy. Uh, it gets in really fast and it does a great job and it covers the entire building as well. So there you go, that's just a quick idea of what I'm at. So again, it's been a slow week in the workshop. I've been really busy outside that and the fact that my knee is getting worse again. Now I've been for an MRI scan last Saturday week. I'm still waiting on the results for that. I should have it hopefully this evening maybe tomorrow sometime this week the doctor will get back to me and i can see what's going to need to be done to be put this knee right because it's not coming right and it's getting worse and it's making woodworking very hard so hopefully this will get sorted soon and i'll be more enthused to get in some projects so i've been working on matt esley's cabinet that's all i've been doing i've been doing a small bit more on this it's actually a great series i'm really enjoying that series there's some nice skills in this one making the cabinet the drawers the doors there's some really good stuff that you can turn towards furniture. That's why I'm jumping in and kind of building, following along with Matt's series. So that's the, all the woodworking I'm doing at the minute. Like I say, with work being kind of really busy at the minute, my knee not being great and all that other stuff. And I was also away for a couple of days. I took a couple of days break over the weekend, which was quite nice because the weather at the minute in September in Ireland has been absolutely fantastic. So I took advantage of it and went up by a hotel by the lake. Um, over the weekend and it was absolutely lovely I have to say so I have plenty of projects coming up so we're going to get back into it this week with some more projects and uh, we'll get this workshop back up and running again and get some videos out on this channel okay guys that's nearly it for the September vlog I just wanted to check in with you guys again see how everybody's doing so make sure to jump in the comments below check in let me know how you are where you are in the world and how things are with you I hope like I say you're all in work you're getting the bills paid and everybody's hanging in there now I'm looking at doing some upcoming projects. I don't want to mention Christmas just yet, but it's kind of the way the world is. We need to start thinking about it a little bit earlier than we normally would. So I'm kind of thinking of some Christmas gift project ideas that I could do. Uh, we could do a few projects, get some Christmas gifts made, just in case everything goes off the rails again by Christmas and we're all in shutdown. It'd be nice to have that end of things taken care of so we have gifts to give to people. So any ideas that you would like to see me make for Christmas gifts, if there's something you have in mind that you think you want to make for somebody, leave them in the comments below and let me know. Throw me a few ideas and we'll see if we can put a few videos together making up some gift, woodworking gift ideas. I think that would be quite nice, especially the time that's in it as well. It'd be nice to make some gifts to give to people to cheer people up that would be quite nice so yeah there we go guys i think that's kind of it for the uh, september vlog again welcome to all the new subscribers it's fantastic that the channel has grown it's great that you guys are loving the content and that you're all so active and again all your advice and comments that you do leave below i read them all i read them all on instagram as well and uh, it's absolutely fantastic keep it all coming i'm learning as much from you guys as you guys are learning from me which is exactly how this should be and again if you're into the whiskey I have a new whiskey channel. It's only a couple of videos up. I'm just getting into things over there, so I'm not sure what way or what direction it's going to take, but we'll try a few things out. And again, if you like whiskey, jump on over, hit the sub button, and we'll have a bit of fun over there as well. So that's it for September, guys. It's time for dinner now. I'm quite hungry. I'm only just in the door from work. I said I'd make a quick video, and now I've got to cook the potatoes. So I shall see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.